Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're going to demonstrate a Blanchard Model 20-36 rotary surface grinder. This particular machine is currently wired for 460 volts and features a 30 horsepower spindle motor. Now, one of the unique features of these 20 series Blanchards is the fact that the base is open. It's a wet base machine, but it's open. There's no ribbing inside like on an 18 series machine where it's much easier for the operator to clean this out at the end of the day. Um, or to even add a rake system to it if you want to. Uh, it's not an option with the 18 series machines as far as I know. Um, this particular machine has just been painted and serviced. It's in really nice shape. It has a segmented wheel chuck. This is called a sterling chuck. They're sterling segments. Um, they, are in, they are segments with a band around them. Um, it has excellent chuck life at 7 16 uh, It also has the variable on the magnet Turn the magnet on. It's on full power right there. Uh, of course, it has a DMAG function and the variable cycle too. Um, just kick it back over to DMAG and you'll see it takes a minute to run through its DMAG cycle. Uh, table goes in and out, of course. We got new guards on them with fresh paint. It's nice and smooth. Fire up the table drive. It's got six different speeds in the gearbox. This is on 12, 12 rotations per minute. Slow it way down to six. That's as slow as they go. Up to 18. Twenty-five, and of course, thirty-three, the fastest speed. It's really good for dressing the chuck or doing hardened, hardened material. This is what's known as an extended column machine. You can get much more than the standard twelve inches under the head. Power up and down works very well. Well, the column guards are in nice shape, as are the end guard. We have the front guard and the operator's door removed for clarity, just so you can see what's going on. It also has a Trabon lubrication system. Give it a pump every once in a while. Lubricates all your critical points. I'm going to start up the wheel head, the spindle motor for you now. We've got the guards removed, so I'm going to stand away while I do that. That's the spindle spinning. Turn the chuck on. Automatic feed down. Pull your handle out and it begins feeding. Wanted to stop the spindle so you can hear me a little bit better. The automatic feed down works well. You can select how many thousands per minute. Up here it's set on 16, but it's infinitely variable. It'll automatically feed down until you hit your zero, at which point it'll shut off. right there. You can let it spark out as long as you desire. Raise your wheel up and shut her down. That's about it. Uh, thanks for watching our video.